So as you can see today, I'm going to be doing this awesome zombie look. If you like it, keep on watching. So the first thing I did was moisturize my face because I will be putting a lot of stuff on it. And it's definitely going to help your skin, um, especially when you want to start taking it off. So now I'm just outlining um, the shape that I want. There's going to be a lot of shapes drawn on my face. Take your time with that because that'll definitely make your life a lot easier. Because there will be two major colors that we're going to be adding to your face. And the shape that I'm drawing is just going to be like the sunken in part and also the blood that's going to be drawn around your lips. Yeah, you should look a little like that. Alrighty, so now you want to start filling that in. What I did was grabbed a foundation brush, my awesome creature feature wheel from Krylon, and just went to town. Take your time with this, you want to get a nice even layer because when you start to set everything, it will make your life a lot easier. And no, I was not going out looking like this, so that's why I didn't do my entire body thing. But that's okay. If you are planning on going out though, I would either cover the rest of your body or, you know, cover it in blue-gray face paint. It's okay. You'll have those days. Besides, Halloween is all about fun and imagination and being a different person even if you happen to be dead. Oh yeah, just keep going. And again, this took a while to do. Just because you want to get a nice even layer, so take your time. And no, don't start this five minutes before you leave. Little more time than that. Just saying. Alrighty, so now I'm taking the green color in the creature feature wheel. You can use um I don't know if you guys have like a green lipstick for some reason. No judgment, believe me. Um if you have another type of face paint you want to do a darker green, that's fine. But just like with the blue, you wanna take your time. Get nice and slow because if you get a nice even layer now, when you start setting it, like now, it's just going to be a lot easier to do. And please, do yourself a favor, not like what I did. If you have a bigger brush to do this with, use that bigger brush because this literally took forever. And of course I didn't realize that I could use a bigger brush than an eyeshadow brush. Why would I think that? Man. Just like everything else, take your time. Go on and set all your makeup. You can set it with a translucent powder, but I wanted these colors to really stick out. And since this is a look that I got the inspiration from uh, Concrete Minerals, I'm using all of their Pro Matte eyeshadows to set everything. Everything. They're freaking awesome. I'll have a review up later this week, maybe. Maybe next week. Okay, so what I started doing is just kind of outlining my face. I want the green part to kind of look like it was um, an underlayer of skin. So start shading that in with a darker green. And just go around and shade. Shade, shade, shade. So much fun. And just do that for all the shapes that you have around your face. Uh, if you accidentally uh, shade a little bit too dark, you can go ahead and just blend a little bit more. You can also use your fingers to try to blend it out a little bit. It definitely helps, believe you me. Alrighty, and now that I outlined everything, I'm just blending everything out and making sure that it looks amazing. And laughing as my dad walks in and asks me what what I'm doing. Yeah. 
So to make it a little bit darker, because it wasn't coming out as dark as I wanted, I just outlined again in a black, but I did this very lightly because I do want it to be cartoony, but not too much. So go ahead and blend that into the dark green. Don't blend it further than the dark green, you still want the dark green to show. And doing this will create a shadow, making it look deeper. You know, kind of like somebody tried to kill you because you're a zombie. Obviously you won because you're still walking around. And for some reason, like, parts of your skin are just falling off. But instead of, like, blood and stuff, you're just all green. So you're, like, an alien zombie. Who would want to be an alien zombie? And like I said, if you just happen to accidentally put any of the colors in too dark, you can always blend them out with the finger. It does help, believe me. And for this, you're gonna wanna blend, or not blend, outline your lips with a black eyeshadow, a black eyeliner, if you have a black lip liner, props to you. But you can also use that. Because again, this is a cartoon look. And everything with cartoons is very defined and exaggerated and stuff. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just drawing in the stitches. This doesn't have to be too, too neat or exact because, again, there are stitches. You know? It's up to you how you want them to look. So, just outline. For this, I'm using an angled brush and just some black eyeshadow. If you're going to use eyeshadow, get a very pigmented eyeshadow like the one from Concrete Minerals or Sugar Pill has really awesome black eyeshadow. The uh, Smoked palette from Urban Decay has a really nice black eyeshadow. Just something with a lot of pigmentation so you don't have to keep going over it. And now for three. Four here. Wow. Fail. <laughs> and now here I'm just drawing in the bow. And what I did for this is just draw in the first circle of the bow and then draw kind of like a half circle around, only going halfway. And then on the inside half, I drew another half of the circle. And that just kind of gives it a 3D appearance. Because remember, cartoons look 3D even though they're 2D. It's awesomeness of cartoons. Just go ahead and do that. And just draw the little laces on the bow because whoever did your stitches really liked those and was like, you know what, this is a very girly zombie. We're gonna make her look awesome. And now I'm just filling in my lips with red. I used uh, the creature feature wheel again. You can use a red lipstick if you have one. Um, if you have a red lip, <laughs> lip gloss, you can use that. Um, really you can use any red thing you have, if you have red eyeshadow, you can use that too. No problem with that. Just skip the part that's white, because you want that to stay white. And don't like smack your lips together because that's just gonna ruin it and you're gonna have pink. Believe me, it happened to me before. <laughs> it's not fun, especially when you work so hard to get it. And then, with the same red, I'm just Feeling in that giant gap around my mouth and I also added um, some like white spots to kind of make it look like the light is hitting the blood drops. Yes, it's blood. We're a zombie guys. Gotta have blood. And just like when you were applying the rest of the cream makeup to your face, take your time with this. You don't want kind of like a patchy job done and then trying to set on top of that because it's still going to look patchy and it's not going to look cute. So what I'm doing now is the same as the patches on my eye. I'm just outlining in a black and blending out to give it more of a 3D effect. Just because we are not real doesn't mean we can't pretend to be real. Zombies are people too, even if they're cartoon ones, they look awesome at the end of this video. Just save. 
and I'm just drawing little flecks under the stitches to make them look more realistic and then setting everything with a red eyeshadow this one is from Concrete Minerals and then I'm just going over the little spots of white where the light would hit to make this look a little bit more real and now I'm just coming in the stitches and they're gonna be pink yeah girly zombie you know what girly zombies are hot Pink stitches are awesome. And now the fun part. You are going to draw in your crease. It doesn't matter if you have one or not. You just draw that sucker in. And the end of your crease line, you're going to connect with the bottom or the top of your, um, of your eyelashes. And then once you do that, just blend out the edges of that crease. And I promise you, it's gonna look amazing. It's so much fun! Now, what I did was take a hot pink eyeshadow and right on the tops of the crease, I just placed that right there, blending as I go. Told you, girliest zombie and burr. Now, here I'm just drawing on the eyelashes. And they're allowed to be exaggerated, believe you me. Because, again, we are a cartoon zombie. We are an amazingly girly, awesome cartoon zombie. And line, your bottom line. And just kind of end it with a point to give you kind of a cat eye effect just to elongate your eye a little bit because this look is so like eyelash heavy even though they're fake lashes okay and then just draw on your top lashes and also with this go ahead and take your time filling it in um, just so the color is really really dark don't be afraid to go back and fill them in again not anything and get as close to the lash line as you possibly can. Just like that. And then finish lining your eyeball. Well, not your eyeball. Your lash line. Ooh, I love this one. I love theatrics and this one is just so much fun to do. And then for the tips of your eyelashes, just line them in pink, and then give yourself some extremely exaggerated eyebrows. Because this look is so like eyelash heavy and just bam, you want to make sure that your eyebrows are still going to be there. So make sure those suckers stand out. And this is what it should look like at the end. Don't you look cute? Get your brains and stuff. So if you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe so you know when my next video comes out. And here are some links and stuff and more videos. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.